Assalamu alaikum and salam sejahtera. For today's news reporting, struggles on B40 students. B40 is a social economic classification that refers to a specific income group in Malaysia. It is based on the household income level and the classification is widely used by Malaysian government and various organizations to identify and address the needs of lower income population. The term B40 stands for bottom 40%, representing the 40% of households with the lowest income in Malaysia. These households typically have a lower earning power and face economic challenges in meeting their basic needs and improving their standard of living. The B40 category is an important consideration when developing programs, policies or initiatives aimed at reducing poverty, providing social assistance and improving education, healthcare and addressing other social economic issues that affect this specific group of individuals and families. The issues of students not having laptops for their studies is just one aspect of a larger problem. According to the New Street Times, some students are facing even more significant challenges, such as supporting their families financially. They are utilizing the National Higher Education Fund Corporation allowances to help their families and even taking on a part-time jobs to earn extra money to support their daily expenses. The situation goes beyond the mere need for laptops to complete assignments. These students are also experiencing hunger or resorting to working as a part-time delivery rider to send money back home. When the pressure becomes overwhelming, some of them are forced to drop out of their studies. Here with us, reporting live, we have our journalist Reza, who is successfully able to get some of the B40 students with mission to have their voices heard. It is almost impossible to pinpoint the number of B40 students as their existence are almost indistinguishable. Due to the lack of exposure, some of the B40 students having difficulties in having their voices heard, which ultimately lead to financial and emotional deprivation. These two factors, financial and emotional, are momentous as it indirectly shapes students' academic development. Today, I'll be interviewing some of the IIM students for the family status that are under the B40 category. So, first question. Yes. Uh, do you find it hard to live your day-to-day -day life as an undergraduate in making expenses as a B40 student? Yes. Uh, personally, I do find that life as a B40 undergraduate student is quite difficult. Uh, this is because I have to face the continuous financial problem. It goes this way actually. If I have to buy books, then I have to sacrifice my food. I have to repeat the same, same meals every day. Uh, I have to track down all the my expenses. So uh, I'm not overspend my money. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think educational loans such as PTPN is enough in sustaining your financial security? I'm not denying that educational loans such as PTPN is very helpful in settling all my debt in university but when it comes to my daily expenses i have to admit that it is not sufficient because as a student you, you, you don't have any resources and you're really depending solely on that money and it's not enough so i have to make part-time job which is um, working as a delivery guy if we zoom out, we can see that other universities also face the same issues. This showcases how although there are many aids provided, the B40 students are still facing challenges nevertheless. Let's hear the perspective from other university students. Are you aware of the struggles that the B40 students are facing? Yes. Yes? Absolutely. To what extent do you agree that the B40 students and university have difficulties in attaining basic necessities? I agree that B40 students have a hard time buying essentials. Yes, I agree as I can see some of my friends who struggle to save up their money for other needs and sometimes they don't necessarily eat well. Absolutely agree. Due to the financial instability, I can say that B40 students will struggle in gaining everyday necessities. In your opinion, do you think the issues circulating the B40 students are being meticulously treated? In my opinion, although the B40 students are being treated, for example, with the aid from the government, they still find it challenging, uh, especially for students who came from a big family and have many siblings to carry to. For me, the issue of the B40 students is very incorrect as some of my friends who came from the B40 background. I have to seek part-time job 
I think for me, although the B40 students are on educational loans, I believe the amount can be very limited to support them which will create barrier for them to access necessity like food and school supplies such as laptops, textbook and more. Some of our team have came out for a solution to overcome these problems. They are going to collect some crowdfunding among the students or audience in the university. They are also giving a little bit of educational talk while giving out flyers to spread the awareness in a bigger picture. With the solutions, public community will be keen to acknowledge the struggles faced by the B40 students on a daily basis. The B40 students will be helped and have their voices heard, able to encourage other people to take similar actions in order to build a peaceful society and sustainable future. With the solutions we propose, it is undeniable that our actions in putting a halt to the struggles faced by the B40 students are aligning with the first and the 16th Sustainable Development Goals. Eradicating poverty is not a task of charity. It's an act of justice and the key to unlocking an enormous human potential. Furthermore, SDG 16 is to promote peaceful and inclusive society for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all and build effective, accountable and inclusive institutions Lastly, at all levels. before I end this news, we hope that the authority and public will take this issue to another level in order for us to develop more quality and exclusive youth to take control of our better future development. From Surah Al-Ma'ida, verse 52, do not violate the rights of Allah or the sanctity of the sacred month of neglect, the marking of the sacrificial animals and garlanding them, or violate the safety of those coming to the sacred house seeking bounty from their Lord and His approval. That's all from us. Thank you and assalamualaikum until next time.